Our weed of the week is one of the toughest you might face on your farm. It's water hemp, but it's not just water hemp, it's Roundup resistant and ALS resistant. How are we gonna control this thing? We need to use multiple sites of action every time that we're out there. If we can use more than one effective site of action, we're in a much better position. It starts, uh, for example, in soybeans with our three pre-emerge herbicide approach. Now you may say, well, I'm using two pre-emerge herbicides right now. I'm using, uh, say, Authority Assist. So I've got Authority and I've also got Pursuit out there. Well, like Brian just said, we're already resistant to that ALS chemistry. So the Pursuit does nothing. So you're completely relying on the Authority. Now you may also say, well, I'm also putting that in with my Roundup Burndown. Hey, Roundup's doing nothing on it too. So you're, you're putting all the weight of control onto the Authority product, and those PPOs just aren't gonna last forever if that's what we're doing. All right, now one thing I gotta disagree with you on, it starts with the three pre. I look at it starts in the other crops. Here's the thing with water hemp. It can put on a million seeds per plant. And if we know we got a problem in soybeans, we know we have a problem in cotton, for example, you have to control it in these other crops, in wheat, in corn, anything else that you're raising. We've got plenty of great control methods there, so that, in my opinion, is where it really starts. Have a clean field, it's much easier to kill those weeds. All right, so yeah, you're kind of cheating. Well, we don't have as many weeds out there, now how do we do it? Hey, let's get right back to soybeans. So we do three pre-emerge herbicides. We do one of the yellows, either Treflan, Sunland, or Prowl. If you're in no-till or reduced till, Prowl is your product. If you're doing conventional till, you can certainly use Treflan or Sunland. Then we like to use some Metribuzin. Now, depending on what your soil conditions are like, if you've got a very light, sandy, low organic matter soil with a pH of nine, then yeah, you probably oh, don't wait, want to use Metribuzin. Let's be very specific here. Your pH is under 7.4 and you don't have pure sand, we're using a third of a pound as our typical recommendation. 7.4 or above, we're cutting that rate back. If you have very sandy soils, yeah, don't use it. Anyway, then the third component is either Authority or Valor, the PPO. Real quick on corn, best suggestion down, probably Verdict, but there are plenty of them that have activity. Post-emerge status, best thing you can do. In wheat, I'd go sharpen down, follow with Husky post-emerge. That's it for our Weed of the Week water hemp, but there's more Ag PhD to come right after this.